Welcome back here on your Friday. And we're looking east from Lexington with our NTV VR wireless camera network. A little bit of cloud cover still lingering on, but again, a beautiful morning starting off in the low to mid 60s and we will heat up for most of us. Central and eastern areas, it's going to be another warm day, but that frontal boundary coming through is going to give us a chance of thunderstorms by late in the afternoon hours. But let's talk a little bit about next week because the big story next week and kind of already is is this incredibly dominant ridge of high pressure which is just going to bake the southern plains they are going to be incredibly hot across the southern plains it will help push warmth up into our region we're talking temps in the upper 80s to low 90s but the good news is we will keep at least a chance of some storms as these little disturbances kind of rotate around that high pressure system and try to bring in some rainfall chances towards the middle of next week so we look at the temp outlook this takes us all the way into the 25th and we're still favored for above normal temps here across the viewing area. More importantly, we're actually favored for some moisture chances in that same time frame. And we have got to keep bringing in these chances of rain because we are still trying to work our, our way out of that drought. 59 in Imperial right now, 67 in Lincoln. Uh, Kearney's at 65. It's pretty mild out there. And if you don't like the heat, well, head northwest because you're already going to be cooling down today as that frontal boundary is going to be moving in. But as it does so, yeah, we watch for scattered thunderstorms to develop along that boundary. And there is a risk that we could see a few storms pulse up and become severe. Now, the better chance of rain actually looks to move in tonight as this little short wave of low pressure moves in out of the southwest. And, you know, we saw it even yesterday with some of these isolated storms that developed. There's a lot of moisture to work with as you go up in the atmosphere. So there is potential that some of you could pick up from some pretty significant rainfall totals, uh, especially this afternoon with some of those slower moving storms. But notice that during your uh, Father's Day weekend here, Saturday, we will keep at least a chance of showers and storms during the day tomorrow. So if you have outdoor events, you're gonna wanna kinda keep an eye on things because while severe weather is not expected tomorrow, it could be a little damp for some of you. So here is our severe outlook. It's a marginal risk, it's a low end threat but it's not out of the question that we could get a couple of isolated severe storms. So we'll make sure to keep you, uh, everyone updated this afternoon. 86, the high for the Tri-Cities. We'll keep that warmth around for another day. Tonight, we drop down to 58, and that's our best chance of rain. Late tonight into tomorrow morning. Could linger at least for the first half of the day tomorrow and much cooler with a high of around 74. So you're looking at already 70s out to the north and west, but still 90s in eastern Nebraska. Lows tonight will drop off into the 50s. Some 60s, you know, 63 York, 64 Hebron. And then tomorrow, that's quite a change. A lot of us will be in the mid 70s. If you avoid the rainfall, it'll probably be very comfortable. Enjoy it if you don't like the heat because we are gonna warm up. 90s, Monday, Tuesday, and essentially near 90 for Wednesday and Thursday. But like I said, we keep at least a chance of some storms towards the middle of next week and hopefully we can keep those rain chances coming in. Yeah, if it's in the 90s, we're going to need them. No kidding. Uh, it's, uh, it is incredible how fast things still dry out. Mm -hmm. It does not take long. No.